It's T plus two days and Inspiration4 has completed over 20 orbits already. We haven't received much video, if any, but we have received some information and some photos. So stay tuned as this is your Inspiration4 update two days into the mission. The general public hasn't really been receiving that many updates from the crew as of yet, with the most popular theory being that the crew have been getting used to microgravity. They have spoken privately to some patients at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and we are expecting a lot more content coming down to Earth within the next day or so. For now though, let's have a look at what we have already received. For starters, SpaceX have released some cool photos from the launch of the mission. You can really see the pure power of the Merlin 1D engines here and the brightness of the flame that comes out the bottom of the rocket. We also got this nice long exposure of the ascent out of 39A. The most exciting images we have received are definitely the ones from space by far. Here we have a couple snaps of Jared Isaacman and Haley Arsenault looking out the cupola domed window. We have a photo of Chris also taking a photo out of the cupola itself and we have a photo of the whole crew posing in front of the hatch. And with those eight photos, we're pretty much wrapped up with everything official we've gotten out of SpaceX and the Inspiration4 Twitter account, but we do have a couple more things to cover. You can actually track the position of the Dragon capsule in real time using SpaceX's new tracker on their website. Just head over to spacex.com slash launches, scroll down a bit, and you can see the position of Dragon Resilience as it orbits at 585 kilometers above the Earth. And finally today, SpaceX has announced that the crew will be doing a live link onto their YouTube channel at around 2100 coordinated universal time, that's 1700 Eastern Daylight and 2200 British Summer Time. Also to speed up your viewing experience, I've linked it down below. Just before today's episode goes to a close, let's thank the citizens of tomorrow. They support financially every month with some cool perks including access to viewing scripts as they are being written and access to the private Escape Velocity channel in our Discord server. You can join the Escape Velocity Orbital Suborbital and Ground Support Citizens by heading over to youtube.com forward slash tlro forward slash join or by clicking the join button that is just underneath this video. Of course, remember to do the essentials, subscribe and hit the notification bell. We've got a couple more updates coming out. You definitely don't want to miss them. And make sure that you do tune in to the live update from the crew later on today. It's only in a couple of hours after the release of this update. I'm very, very excited for it because we haven't heard from them yet. But for now, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.